Woman is the sister of man. This popular Arabic saying is meant to signify the power of women and their equal standing with men. The saying, however, has fallen into disuse now that Yemen is in the midst of a war, a war that has resulted in Yemen experiencing the world's worst humanitarian crisis. But it's not just the saying that is no longer being heard in Yemen. Women's voices are being silenced. As women working to bring peace to Yemen, this saying resonates all the more now, as 2020 marks the 20th anniversary of the United Nations Security Council Resolution 1325 on Women, Peace and Security. As Resolution 1325. The resolution, passed on October 31, 2000, addresses the disproportionate and unique impact of armed conflict on women and it establishes a framework to ensure women's experiences, voices, and solutions are central to both preventing conflict and to building a sustainable peace. The Yemeni government adopted a 1325 Women, Peace, and Security National Action Plan in December of 2019. More, however, needs to be done. But just as the Arabic saying is meaningless unless women can claim their rights, 1325 must move beyond rhetoric and become a living document for women working worldwide to build peace. In Yemen, women peace builders are working with 1325 by focusing on four pillars. Pillar one, participation. 1325 urges increased representation of women in decision-making at national, regional, and international levels for the prevention, management, and resolution of conflict. But despite 1325, peace processes have systematically excluded women. <laughs> Disarmament is critical to building a lasting peace. But disarmament cannot happen without security sector reforms. Women need to have an increased presence in the security sector to ensure that women's perspectives and needs are included in enacting these reforms. أثبتت تجارب كثيرة في بلدان عديدة أنه التعامل مع النساء أو الأمهات في نزع السلاح كان له تأثير كبير وبعيد المدى. Pillar 2. Protection Resolution 1325 calls for the protection of women from gender-based and sexual violence in armed conflict. In addition to the daily violence associated with war, Yemen has seen an increase in both gender-based and domestic violence since the start of the conflict, and sexual violence is being used as a weapon of war. While we've witnessed an increase in violence against women, there has been no corresponding focus on providing psychological and medical support, and accountability is non-existent, as the perpetrators are not held responsible or brought to justice. Women have been facing an unprecedented level of violence, either inside the house or outside by armed forces or militia. Therefore, 1325 has to be enforced in order to protect women and also to hold those who violate their rights accountable and to achieve justice. Pillar 3, Prevention. 1325 calls for the development of strategies to prevent violence against women by holding those responsible to account, by strengthening the rights of women in local laws, and by supporting women's organizations and initiatives. Judicial reform with a focus on gender is much needed in Yemen. Laws that criminalize gender-based violence must be enacted, and current laws supporting gender-based violence need to be reformed. Unfortunately, the Yemeni laws normalize 
domestic and relative violence, meaning that the father could kill his daughter and he could not be held accountable. We need to change these laws and enforce new laws that is more gender sensitive and support women. Pillar 4, Relief and Recovery. 1325 establishes that peace building must include women, address their needs in both relief and recovery, redress injustices, and invest in economic and social security. <laughs> شريك في انها تدخل في عمليات السلام شريك لانهاء الصراع اللي فعلا هي اكثر المتضررين منه سواء كانت ام او زوجه او ابنة او او حتى عامله في الميدان اكثر من المتضرر من الصراع الموجود حاليا في اليمن هي النساء حتى نمط الادوار اختلف ما كنا نرى النساء في اليمن مثلا انها تخرج وممكن انها تطبر وتجيب غاز ممكن انها تروح تسعى عشان تجيب البترول الان اختلفت الادوار وهذا لغياب الرجل in order to meet the needs of women in conflict situations and to build a lasting peace programs must be developed using a gender lens Women know what their families, communities, region, and country need. Humanitarian aid, recovery, and rebuilding cannot work without women. فأصبحت هن فقط يعرفنا مكان الضرر فيهن أو مكان المرض ولن يتم معالجتهم إلا عبر وجود نساء وليست أي نساء. نحب كيمنيات أن نؤكد على أهمية ضمان مشاركة النساء. في جميع خطوات الإعمار من التخطيط إلى البرامج إلى إلى الأنشطة فهناك أيضا الأنشطة والبرامج المهمة جدا وهي العدالة الانتقالية وجبر الضرر. Twenty years ago, the United Nations Security Council passed Resolution 1325 on women, peace, and security. To mark this anniversary. We need to redouble our efforts to ensure women are full and equal partners in building peace. 20 years after passing the UN Resolution 1325, we still live in a world of war and conflict. It is a world where women still suffer inappropriately in conflicts and still demand to be active participants in peace building. UN women role in Yemen is to influence the political process to further women inclusion through the multi-track diplomacy and supporting them in the implementation of women peace and security agenda. We have established coalition to include the most popular representative and active national women-led networks and alliances, including Women Pact and the Group of Nine Coalition to enforce the implementation of UN Resolution 1325 and further the implementation of WPS agenda.